All right, hey Pisces, so I'm doing a peek at your person. We're just going to see what their energy is and the changes that are going to be made to this connection. Um, so you're going to know this is your read based off the current situation and how you feel about it. So if that does not resonate, check the Moon Rising and Venus placements. You guys, if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. We're also going to pull some messages from this person to see what it is they want you to know. So it's a 60, a 30 to 60 day intention for you guys. So looking at the current situation, the current situation, dang, a lot of quiet, a lot of quietness. All right. I feel like it hasn't been healed all the way. Um, the reason I say that is because, you know, this right here in reverse, it's, it's the opposite. To me, I look at the seven of coins like you guys have been through it, man. Um, you could have um, known each other for quite some time. Um, but the healing is just not there yet. It's not coming. All right. We got the tower card coming through the page of swords. So possibly, um, and I feel like it's mutual energy. So mutual energy, quiet, stillness, right? Silence. Um, it could have been a major um, 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 WTF moment. The tower card is sudden unexpected changes. Okay. So I feel like that's what's kind of played out in the past. And I feel like, you know, kind of currently it's like it's not healing, but where is it going to go? Um, and I feel like it's mutual energy that sits here. You guys both wondering what the other one is doing, possibly spying each, spying on each other um, through social media. Um, looking up, you know, to the end, to one of, end of the earth, to the other, um, trying to figure out what the what each other is up to, especially if you're mirroring each other and there's been like zero communication and no contact whatsoever. Okay, so I just, I feel like it's definitely hugely disconnected at this moment in time. So let's see what your, your feelings are about this. Your feelings about this connection. Oh man, like looking off in the distance, right? You got your magician card coming through, the two of wands. There could be some real strong energy coming through on your end. Um, twin flame energy, um, soulmate energy, whatever. Um, you know, I thought this was something bigger than maybe what, um, you are being shown at this moment in time. Um, look, I'm just going to take care of myself, right? It's going to be what it, it's, it, it, I, I seen that quote, just let them, right? I can't help but feel like some of you guys have read that quote. If they don't want to be here, then, then just let them. If they want to go, um, be 3d, just let them. If they want to go be in their ego, just let them, you know, um, if they want to go make mistakes, just let them. I really feel like at this point in time, you're just focusing on yourself. Okay. Um, you're, you're here. It's, it's like this. It's almost like you are, um, I'm just gonna, I, it's not that you're putting it behind you, but I'm going to work through it. Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm just going to start to enjoy life with the nine of coins. That's the single person's energy you got the seven of cups also showing up. All right. And I feel like, you know what? Everything kind of ruptured. Everything is kind of gone haywire everything is disconnected right now but i feel like you're still making moves um to just become the best version of yourself it could be too that this um situation this connection has catalyzed you into the next role of life okay um divine masculine energy so there could be um some of you that are, are learning to balance masculine and feminine energy the yin the yang right so that's just what i kind of see i feel like you're focusing more on yourself and not on the um the outcome of the connection, not how, not the past, not the present, not the future. You're just kind of focusing on self at this point in time. So let's see who this person is, who this person is. You got a lot of Scorpio energy coming through Scorpio. You got Taurus coming through. All right. So their energy feeling, um, look, feeling stuck, feeling imbalanced right now. Okay. I feel like this person is actually going through a change. All right. Look, very, very sad, upset right? Whatever has transpired, um, you know, if they were the ones that kind of ruined it, I'm going to tell you, they recognize that. We have death card also showing up. I feel like this person is, it, it's like they, there's, there could be some fears of change, fear of the unknown, fear of the future. Death card, you know, that is a transformation and rebirth card, but I really feel like um, the only thing that's holding this person up is, is this energy right here. They're still stuck on the past, whereas you are, um, learning to evolve and grow some of the darkest places that we find ourselves in, um, uh, teach us evolution. All right. So you're over here making progress and changes. I feel like this person is still stuck in that tower moment and that negative energy that we saw come through at the beginning. Um, again, you got Scorpio coming through with the, this card, the five of cups, death card. You got, um, Aquarius with that six of swords. You got Taurus with the six of pentacles. So that could be their signs. 
Um, you guys, I just really feel like overall this person is stuck. If you feel like you've given more of your time, effort, and energy and and all the, all the positives that come with that, um, they know that they have they have they have not been fair they have not been balanced how are they seeing let's just see i want to see what it is they've shown you what have they shown you when it comes to this connection we have the ace of wands and the king of wands the two of cups we have the high priestess and the magician now showing up this is a divine this is a divine um soul bond right here you guys you got divine uh, counterparts all right, and I'm going to tell you this. This person is showing up. What I did was I meditated on your person's energy with the request of what Pisces needs to hear. So who is showing up for Pisces? It's almost like this person could have put this version of themselves into your mind. We are twin flame. We are soulmate. We are this. We are that. Um, and it could have taken you a little bit to get to that point. But this person is feeling that very, very strongly. Okay, this is what they've shown you very, very strongly. All right, funny, sarcastic, um, witty, um, very attractive. Um, you're very, very drawn to them. It could be too that they are they they promote that um, externally towards a lot of people though. Okay, it doesn't have to be bad. All right, that doesn't have to be bad. A flirty personality doesn't have to be bad. But if they took it to the next level, you know there is that. Okay, so I'm uh, let's just see how this person feels about you. How do they feel about you? Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Talk about divine counterparts, the magician, the high priestess, the king and queen of swords. We have the knight of swords also coming through here. Okay, so how they feel about you. Um, you could have been the one to, to move away from this person, um, especially if you've if you were kind of recognizing that uh, they're not devoted to the connection as you are. Okay, but um, it doesn't matter what you think or what you feel. All right, I'm going to tell you what this person is, how they're feeling about you is that you are a divine counterpart. You are a soulmate. Okay. They could feel that you've taken your energy and pulled it away all of a sudden. Um, you know, if you found out something or things were just not landing um, kind of in the corner um, in the way that you wanted, they see you as, as somebody who just kind of abruptly, um, I'm going to disconnect it. That could have been you, Pisces. Okay. It could have been a mutual thing, but you know, the Knight of Swords is also somebody who, who does take action. All right. This is somebody who proves um, that they can do anything that they want. That's a very, very successful card. But overall, how they feel about you is that they see you as a divine counterpart. All right. Um, I, I want this. I want this. If you pulled your energy away from them, they could be expecting you to be coming back. But if they screwed up, you guys, I'm, I'm always going to be that advocate that says, now that let them come back. Let them, let them make, um, the wrong right. Okay. So let's just see how they see the current connection, how they see it. Very spiritual. Look at that having a desire to communicate they want to communicate they can see communication coming through here all right we have the knight of cups showing up and the page of wands all messenger cards okay i feel like there's not a lot to kind of see um right now for you so you could be just focusing on yourself in such a way that you're like i'm not even trying to see the future with this person at this point okay um but how they see it very spiritual based Page of Wands, this right here is, uh, I love it. It's a spiritual card, but it's also taken, um, it ta it's like taking the initiative to heal and grow and prosper on the, the spiritual journey, on the spiritual dynamic. And I see that with this connection. All right. Um, you know, potentially um, I want my friend back. Um, and that's how a lot of great relationships start out is building a friendship and trust, right? We have the Knight of Cups also showing up, um, you know, which is, um, creative, um, it, it influenced with creativity, with charm, imagination, beauty. Okay. Overall, it's like when this person daydreams about you, they see all the good that comes of it. All right. I, and I potentially feel like you guys are both seeing it like that, but for whatever has happened, we're just not quite there yet, but a desire, a strong desire to communicate. So let's just see what upcoming changes are taking place for you guys. The upcoming changes taking place. Look at that. Look, we got the Queen of Pentacles showing up. Somebody's going to make the move. The Ace of Pentacles, wow. How, I mean, that is that is crazy, you guys. So I really feel like the changes is the acknowledgement of the divine couple. King and Queen, same suit twice. We got the Magician and the High Priestess. We got the Ace of Pentacles. That's a new beginning. That's a new, a new this is a new way. We're going to do a commitment. I'm going to give you what you haven't been receiving from me, Okay. Um, so let's just see what their next move is in the next 30 days. Their next move. 
next 30 to 60 days, excuse me. Look, where there has been imbalance, balance. All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune, sudden turn of events coming through for you guys, the Ten of Cups and the Seven. You keep on focusing on yourself. If you guys have a strong desire to call this um, connection back in, you will. Um, there's not going to be um, any problems with it. You've got to keep on doing what you're doing, though, um, because that healing that you're going through right now, is almost like what's setting the next steps for this to, to come back in motion. Um, for those of you who want it, of course. All right. So what this person wants to tell you, look at this. Oh, wow. We have the four of swords coming through. I'm ready to come out of this break. I can't take it. I can't stand it anymore. So will you let me in? The ten of wands. I'm not going to stop. Okay. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to give up until you say yes, um, because you are my soulmate and I do love you. Look at that. The lover's card showing up for you guys in all its glory. Let's get some initials for Pisces. All right, Pisces. The initials come through. We have L-E, N-R, and we got E-U. I just seen 1111, you guys. Take care.